Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Fadi Shamim, your chemistry teacher. Today we will discuss our new chapter, chapter number nine. Chapter number nine is about the chemical equilibrium. So far you have studied eight chapters, and now you are quite familiar with chemistry and chemical reactions. In this chapter, we will discuss about the forward and the backward reactions. We will discuss about the law of mass action. We will derive expressions of equilibrium constant and we will also discuss conditions for equilibrium we will discuss ways to recognize equilibrium and we will also write equilibrium constant expressions for different chemical reactions now let's come to the chemical reaction chemical reactions are actually the combination and separation of different reactants to form products chemical reaction may be of different types chemical reactions for example, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. This is a chemical reaction. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. This is also a chemical reaction. Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form SO3. Sulfur dioxide, this is also a chemical reaction. Now, let's see what is the difference between the forward and the reverse reaction. As you see in this chemical reaction, nitrogen is reacting with hydrogen to form NH3. And at the same time, ammonia NH3 is decomposing back to form N2 and H2. This is the forward reaction because this is taking place from left to right and the arrow separating this reactants from the products is directing in this direction which shows that the reaction is proceeding from left to right. Now the chemical uh, react the chemical substances which are present at this arrowhead they are called as products and which are present at the tail of this arrow they are called as reactants so these are the reactants and these are the products now this chemical reaction is called as forward chemical reaction because it is written from left to right the reactants, they are producing the products and the rate is fastest in the beginning and gradually it slows down because as the concentration of reactants decreases and they are converting into ammonia or the product, so the rate of the reaction also slows down. Now let's come to the reverse reaction. What is the reverse reaction? In this particular chemical reaction, Ammonia is converting back to nitrogen and hydrogen. It means that after a certain period of time, this ammonia is decomposing back to nitrogen and hydrogen. And as you can see, this reaction is proceeding from right to left. The products produces the reactants. These are the products and the products are producing the reactants back and the rate uh, initially the rate is zero but gradually it speeds up so the difference between the forward and the reverse reaction is that the forward reaction is written from left to right whereas the reverse reaction is written from right to left in forward reaction the reactants produce products whereas in the reverse reaction the products produce reactants in forward reaction, the rate is fastest in the beginning and gradually slows down, whereas in the reverse reaction, the rate is zero at the beginning and gradually speeds up. Now, uh, I will give you some other chemical reactions. Now we will discuss SO2 with oxygen. When SO2 sulfur dioxide reacts with, S, uh, with, with O2, it forms SO3. Now, as you can see, SO2 is reacting with O2 to form SO3. So this reaction is called as forward reaction. And 
SO3 is reacting back to form SO2 and O2, this reaction is called as reverse reaction. In forward reaction, initially the concentration of SO2 and O2 is very high and gradually they react together to form product. Initially the, react, the concentration of the product is very low, it is zero. Now the reactants are converting into the products, the concentration of reactant is decreasing whereas the concentration of the product is increasing. Now let's come to the graph as you can see this graph is plotted uh, against the time and concentration. Here you can see that the concentration of SO3 is gradually increasing and the concentration of SO2 and O2 is gradually decreasing. And a point will come when the concentration of both the reactants and the products will be same. And this point at which the concentration or at which the concentration of the reactants and the products is same is called as chemical equilibrium. This point is called as chemical equilibrium. Now this is a type of dynamic equilibrium. Because actually the reaction is taking place, sulfur dioxide and oxygen is converting into SO3 and at the same rate SO3 is converting back into SO2 and O2 but apparently it appears that the reaction is not taking place and it stops but actually the reaction is taking place and this is type of a dynamic equilibrium and this is called as chemical equilibrium. Students, I hope that you will uh, be able to do the written work also. Uh, I am giving you some exercises and first of all I will uh, teach you how to do these exercises. You will have to write the uh, forward and the reverse reactions. The first reaction is uh, 2 NO2 plus O2 gives NO2. As you know that it is composed of two different reactions, the forward reaction and the reverse reaction. So we will have to split this chemical reaction into forward and reverse reaction. Now you will have to write the forward reaction 2NO plus O2 will give NO2. This is the forward reaction. Now reverse reaction, what is the reverse reaction? NO2 it splits to form 2NO and O2. So this is the reverse reaction for this chemical reaction. Now the self-assessment exercise given in your book is N2 plus 3H2 will give NH3 and I am uh, quite sure that you will be able to do this uh, exercise. First of all you will have to write the forward reaction and then you will have to write the reverse reaction for this chemical reaction and similarly for this chemical reaction you will also have to write the forward chemical reaction and the reverse chemical reaction. Now you will have to do the self assessment exercise in your neat notebooks and you will send me a pic or a pdf file of this assessment so that I may check your work and return it back to you. Now the other written work I will give it to you is uh, 3O2 will give 2O3, you will have to write the forward and reverse reaction for this chemical reaction, you will have to write the forward and the reverse chemical reactions for this reaction and uh, all these four chemical reactions and for all these four chemical reactions. So whatever I expect from you is that you will do this exercise, this is from the book and I have given you this from the exercise. So we'll, you will have to do all this written work in your neat notebooks. You will uh, make a PDF file of this work and then you will send it back to uh, email address and the email address is cda 
स्कूल टेन एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम दिस इज द मेलिंग एड्रेस एंड यू विल हैव टू सेंड दिस रिटर्न वर्क टू मी सो दैट आई मे चेक इट थैंक यू